Wednesday, evening meditation, seventh week after Pentecost, July 14, 2021. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choices, Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of faith in the presence of God, Nomen Apache, Fili, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Most holy, adorable, and undivided Trinity, one God and three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility and render to thee my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win, act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that in the opinion of the world others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I am noticed, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary of a Virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, upon Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or Panobis Peccatoribus, Nuc and Hor Mortis Nostra, Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patria Filio, a spirit to Sancto, Secret Eret in Principio, Nuc et Semper, and Secula Seculorum, Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost. Grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. The Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening meditation, the practice of the love of Jesus Christ. Charity hopeth all things. He that loves Jesus Christ hopes for all things. In this manner, the soul is wholly united to God in heaven and loves him with all her strength. Her love is most perfect and complete. And though necessarily finite, since a creature is not capable of infinite love, it nevertheless renders her perfectly happy and contented, so that she desires nothing more. On the other hand, Almighty God communicates himself and unites himself wholly to the soul, filling her with himself proportionately to her merits. And this union is not merely by means only of his gifts, lights, and loving attractions, as if the case during this present life, but only his own very essence. As fire penetrates iron and seems to change it into itself, so does God penetrate the soul and fill her with himself. And though she never loses her own being, yet she becomes so penetrated and absorbed by the immense ocean of the divine substance that she remains, as it were, annihilated, as if she ceased to exist. The apostle prayed for this happy lot for his disciples when he said, quote, that you may be filled unto all fullness of God, Ephesians 3.19. And this is the end which the goodness of God has appointed for us in this life to come. Hence the soul can never enjoy perfect repose on earth because it is only in heaven that she can obtain perfect union with God. It is true that the lovers of Jesus Christ find peace in the practice of perfect conformity with the will of God, but they cannot in this life find complete repose. This is only obtained when our last end is obtained. 
That is, when we see God face to face and are consumed with his divine love. But until the soul has reached this end, she is ill at ease and groans and sighs, saying, quote, Behold, in peace is my bitterness most bitter. Psalm 38, verse 17. Concluding prayer, I give you thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may in uniformity with your divine will of triune God keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life, and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay, that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance and thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory, and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomina patria, filii, spiritus sancti, men, have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.